Hi, my name's Lacey and I'm from Iowa. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Growing up, my parents had a lot of money and they would spoil me rotten. When I turned five, they threw a huge birthday party for me. They even got me a bouncing castle. All the neighborhood kids were invited and I made lots of friends, including a girl named Angelica. She and I ended up being BFFs. Angelica's parents were rich too. They became friends with my parents and they all hung out at an expensive country club comparing their fancy mansions and fast cars. One day when I was in the fourth grade, dad got a phone call. He seemed calm while speaking on the phone, but as soon as he hung up, he started bouncing off the walls. Ho oh, ho, I finally got that promotion. That's great, honey. You'll be making even more money. Yep, pack your bags. We're moving. Wait, moving? Why? My new position requires me to move to a new facility. But I don't want to move. All my friends are here. <laughs> I cried so much that whole week. The thought of leaving Angelica freaked me out. Dad wasn't willing to turn down the promotion, but seeing how upset I was, he decided he'd move alone and send money back to us. Mom didn't like the idea at first until she realized just how much money Dad was making. In middle school, Angelica and I were the popular ones. We were always the first to have the fancy new clothes, sneakers, smartphones, and gaming consoles. We basically ruled the school. Then one day, a new girl arrived. She was the exact opposite of my friends and me. She wore modest clothes and shoes, and the cell phone she used came out years ago. One day, she sat at the lunch table my friends and I usually occupied, so I sat down beside her. Hi, my name's Lacey. What's yours? Before she could say anything, Angelica came up. What's this loser doing at our table? It's okay, Angelica. She can sit here. No way. Some of her poor might rub off on us. Angelica shoved her way in between us, and the girl left the table with her head hanging. That was so rude. Why'd you do that? We have a reputation to uphold. People like her have no place in our group. I felt bad for the girl. She was always alone. Whenever I tried talking to her, Angelica would stop me. There was another way she was different from us. She did very well in school, while my friends and I did the bare minimum to pass. We never paid attention in class, and we'd hang out late after school instead of doing homework. One day, I came home with my report card, and Mom saw that I had an F in math. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll do better, I promise. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Mommy knows exactly what to do. The next day, Mom spoke to my math teacher, and they had a really long conversation. Mom finally came out looking really proud of herself. Everything's been taken care of. I didn't know what she did, but when I checked my grades, I had an A. The following week, mom gave me an envelope to give to my math teacher. What's this? Don't worry about it, just some boring paperwork. I thought it was weird, but I just did as she said. Each week for the rest of the school year, I gave my math teacher an envelope and my grade never dropped. After I graduated eighth grade, mom and I were planning to go on a cruise for the summer. We were waiting for dad to send us some money, but whenever mom checked her account, it was never there. Finally, she went up to her room and called dad. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but she sounded mad. After she hung up, I heard her crying. Mom, what's wrong? Your father wants a divorce. He met another woman and he won't be sending us any more money. What? My dad was leaving my mom for someone else? And he was gonna stop supporting us? What kind of man does that? Needless to say, mom and I couldn't afford to go on our cruise. And shopping for school clothes that summer was so embarrassing. We couldn't get any of the popular brands. Worst of all, I had to keep using the same smartphone instead of upgrading like everyone else. My first day of high school was humiliating. Everyone was parading their brand new wardrobe and accessories, except for me, of course. Then I saw Angelica and the rest of my group and walked over to them. Hey guys. Hey Lacey, uh, what are you wearing? I don't recognize that brand. Oh, uh, it's, and is that the same phone you had last year? Well, yeah. <laughs> what, are you poor or something now? We have had some problems lately, but this stuff doesn't matter, right? I mean, it's just clothes and a smartphone. Sorry, Lacey. Like I told you before, we have a reputation to uphold. I thought she must be joking. There was no way she would drop me just because I didn't have the fanciest clothes or phone. But every time I tried hanging out with her, she and the rest of the group just shunned me. I also found out mom couldn't afford to pay for her country club membership, so she lost all her friends too. For weeks, I was all alone in school. And even though I no longer had friends to procrastinate with, I still didn't do well in class, especially math. I 
knew I would fail without mom's help. She had recently gotten a job at a clothing shop at the mall. I could tell she hated working, but it paid the bills. Mom, can you give my new math teacher the paperwork you gave my old teacher? Oh, sweetheart, that wasn't paperwork. I was paying your teacher to give you better grades. My mom had been bribing my math teacher? I couldn't believe it. Well, actually I could, but how was I supposed to pass now? A few days later at lunch, a girl came and sat next to me. Hi, Lacey. I was surprised to see the shy girl from middle school. Hey, I remember you. I don't think I ever got your name, though. Yeah, your friend Angelica cut me off. I'm Katie. Nice to properly meet you, Katie. And don't worry, Angelica is definitely not my friend anymore. Katie turned out to be really cool, and we became best friends. She was such a great influence on me. Instead of letting me goof off after school, she helped me with my homework. I started getting better grades, and I felt really proud of myself. Katie dreamt of becoming a seamstress, and she made most of the clothes she wore. One day, she tried teaching me how to sew a shirt, and it turned out perfect, as long as the person wearing it had a really small head. So I wasn't good at sewing, but I was great at drawing. No offense to her, but Katie's designs were pretty basic. I, however, had a knack for designing outfits, and Katie could bring them to life. We were a great team. Unfortunately, my mom didn't like Katie as much as I did. Why do you hang out with her? Katie? What do you mean? She's really nice. I'm sure she is, but what happened to Angelica and your other friends? Wouldn't you say they were more… classy? They were fake. They don't talk to me now because I don't have branded stuff anymore. I see. The next day, I came home from school and mom had a surprise for me. Brand new designer clothes. She was also wearing a new necklace and really nice perfume. Wow, mom. Thanks. Wait, how could you afford all of this? Let's just say I got an employee discount. I felt like a supermodel going to school the next day. Everyone's eyes were on me, just like how they used to be. Hey, Lacey, I love your new outfit. Thanks. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to stop getting clothes from the bargain bin. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you finally look good again. Look at those jeans. Look at those shoes. Keep this up and you might earn a place back in the group. Before I could respond, she walked away. To be honest, I was surprised Angelica spoke to me. And it kind of made me feel good. Is that why you're all dressed up? You want to be part of Angelica's group again? What? No. These clothes were just a gift from my mom, that's all. Katie believed me, but I could tell it still bothered her. All day, people were complimenting me and ignoring her. I felt so bad. Mom kept buying me expensive clothes and getting jewelry and makeup for herself. I loved my new wardrobe, but I always wondered how she could afford it all. The employee discount couldn't be that much. One day, while Katie was hanging out with me at my house, I heard a knock on the front door. Angelica? What are you doing here? I invited her. Welcome, Angelica. It's been such a long time since you visited. I absolutely adore your necklace and earrings. I was speechless. I couldn't believe mom would invite Angelica over after I told her we weren't friends anymore. Just then, Katie came out of the bathroom. What's that poor beggar girl doing here? Uh, don't mind her. She was just leaving. Tears swelled in Katie's eyes and she ran out of the house. I ran after her. Katie, wait! I tried catching up to her, but she was surprisingly fast. When I went back inside, mom and Angela were just chatting it up as if my best friend didn't just run out of the house crying. I was furious. Get out of my house. You aren't welcome here anymore. I pulled Angelica by her shirt and dragged her outside. What is your problem? You're acting like an animal. I guess that's what happens when you hang around with second-class citizens like Katie. I slammed the door in her face and turned to mom. What's gotten into you? I told you, Angelica and I aren't friends anymore. Why would you invite her? Listen, Lacey, do you want to be popular and have friends with lots of money like Angelica? Or do you want to be a poor nobody like Katie? Katie isn't a poor nobody. She's my best friend, and you can't stop me from hanging out with her. That night, I texted Katie over and over begging for her forgiveness. She finally texted back and said I could make it up to her with a trip to the mall the next day. I showed up to the mall wearing plain clothes and old sneakers. Why aren't you wearing your new clothes? Who cares what I wear? Let's just have fun. We had a great time taking pictures, window shopping, and eating at the food court. As we were about to leave, we walked past the clothing store mom worked at. Come on, Katie. Mom owes you an apology. No, that's okay. It's not okay. Let's go. 
I pulled Katie into the empty shop and we looked around for mom. But when we couldn't find her anywhere, I asked one of the employees and she said no one by mom's name had ever worked here. Maybe you've got the wrong store? I'm pretty sure it was this one. Why would she lie? When we got back to my place, I heard some sounds from mom's room and we quietly crept up to find mom frantically stuffing jewelry, perfumes, and clothes in a trash bag. What are you doing, mom? Oh my God, when did you two come in? We stopped by your workplace today, the clothing store, and it turns out you don't work there and you never have. So how have you been getting all this stuff? I, okay, I was ashamed to admit it, but the only job I could find was as a hotel maid. And these things, well, I just, borrowed them from some really wealthy people staying there. I'm sure they haven't even noticed. Is borrowing another word for stealing? Like paperwork was for bribes? Mom, are you crazy? No, I'm not. It's not fair that I've lost everything and everyone. No one respects you unless you look the part. High-class friends and connections are important. Trust me, Lacey. I'm doing this for both of us. But you have to help me hide this stuff right now, because the hotel owners are having all their employees searched. Mom, stop! You don't need friends who care more about how you look than what you might be going through. You got divorced and you have money problems, and none of your friends even asked you once if you're okay, did they? And do you think they'll get you out of jail when you're caught for theft? Mom was speechless, then started to cry. I'm really scared, Lacey. I've messed up big time. What do I do? Katie and I helped Mom hide the stuff, and when some officers did turn up, they couldn't find anything. Soon after, we donated all the stolen stuff to different shelters. Maybe I could keep one perfume and those Jimmy Choo heels? Mom, no! Mom then turned to Katie, looking embarrassed. Thank you for helping us today. I can see you're a really good friend to Lacey, and I'm sorry for how I treated you. It's okay, but please don't steal again. It would make things a lot harder for Lacey if her mom's in jail. She's trying really hard to adjust to her new life too. Katie's words seem to have struck a chord with mom because after that, she complained a lot less and worked a lot harder. She even started volunteering at a soup kitchen on weekends, and I could tell she was really changing for the better. After we graduated high school, Katie and I decided to start our own clothing business. We made stylish clothes at a low price. Eventually, mom started working with us too, and we started doing quite well. I never had as much money as I did when I was younger, but I had something much better, a loving mom and a best friend.